What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fresh commentary. Now I've been on edge just like everybody else because of this new deadly virus that everybody's been talking about that's spreading. We've all been in shock about how much the coronavirus is spreading. We thought we were safe, especially us Americans because we're nowhere near Asia. But turns out there's actually been more than 50 confirmed coronavirus cases in the USA. Most in California, some in Chicago, but it was nowhere near me so I felt pretty sane for the time being. Well, until now. Because a few hours ago it was announced that the first case of the coronavirus is in New York. And me, I'm scared, man. <laughs> like, I don't live directly around the tourist attractions in New York, like the pretty popular spots downtown, but I am pretty close to it. And that's gotten both me and everybody else in New York scared. Because we're in the largest city in America, possibly the world. And the fact that this deadly virus that has gotten everybody so worked up has been confirmed to have reached the city of New York is just jaw-dropping. And unlike other places, we New Yorkers depend on public transportation. Like, when I went to go stay in California, for a week, you literally need a car to get around everywhere. But here in New York, most people, 80% of us, use the train. And in that train, you're always confronted with strangers who have the flu or an illness. And we're in a very tight space, a small space that sometimes gets crowded. So for this virus to be going around now, it could possibly spread like wildfire because of these small, tight public spaces. And that's got me freaking scared, man. Like if you even think about coughing in a train now, everybody in the train cart's gonna look your direction with googly eyes. Everyone is on guard because of this news going around. Back then it was weird for people to wear masks in the streets, but lately it's been normal like China. A matter of fact, more people have been wearing masks than they ever have before in public locations in New York. And most people who lived here their whole life like me know how much you share public space with strangers and how easy it would be for a sickness to spread. So that's why it's gotten so much of us on edge and scared for our lives. Like hell, I might even start wearing a mask on my way to college now because so many other students are doing it to at least feel safe. So so why can't I? There's even hospitals and this place that I go to for food that are giving out free masks to whoever wants them. It's just crazy now. Masks have become like the new accessory when it comes to clothing. Back then if you saw an Asian with a mask we would be scared and find it odd. But now it's just a normal thing for us. I know in China it was considered a good gesture if you wear a mask at work or something because you had a cold and it would make them feel safe from not contracting your sickness. But here it wasn't really a thing until word about the virus was put out there. Most people who were sick would literally just cough normally without no mask and that's why the flu would spread so easily especially in public transportations so i'm glad that us as americans sort of took this practice of wearing masks on a regular basis as a normal thing because back then we wouldn't really do that and that's why if one person had a cold it would just spread so easily so yeah it's pretty much a good thing that it's been normal for us to wear masks now here at least now it would at least prevent the spread of sickness just the slightest but yeah like i said it's just a huge city and if it gets too out of hand it might become something serious because it's just too easy for something like that to spread in a city like this. So that's why the coronavirus has been giving us goosebumps. Or me at least. I'm just scared man. Like I don't want this virus. I don't want to get sick and potentially die. I'm sure you guys don't want to either. Like when I had the flu about like six years ago. Because it's been a long time since I had the flu. I don't care about being passed out or feeling weak. I just hate throwing up. It's scary. I feel like I can't breathe and liquid just keeps coming out my mouth. But yeah for real. If you're actually like really really scared. Let me give you some hope by saying that there is a very small chance you would get this virus in the first place. For one, it's hardly even present at the moment here in the United States. And even if it was, it wouldn't go too out of hand compared to how it's going in Asia. Because I'm sure people are doing their best to contain it and make us feel safe, despite the fear that's being passed around. So I'm just gonna say that the basic solution, like everybody else is saying, is to wash your hands each time you get home and just cover your mouth when you cough. It's that easy. I don't understand what's so hard about that. People are just nasty, man, I guess. I don't understand why people don't wash their hands when they come home. That's just nasty. Like you're out there taking public transportation, touching all the handrails that's infested with germs and just come home and touch their face and eat food. That's just gross. The first thing that should be in your head, especially with word about this virus that's going around, is once you get home, get to your sink and wash your hands with soap. And that's it. Don't be nasty. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk about this. I don't know, just a rant a bit I should say. Just wanted to say what's on my head basically about this whole thing now just being actually local in my area. I'm not as scared, honestly. I'm just like everybody else, just a bit frightened. But anyways, thanks for hearing what I had to say. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Are you scared or not scared? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. And yeah, stay safe and be healthy. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.